Here you are given the next question. For the geometric series, 3 minus 3 by 10 plus 3 by 10 square minus 3 by 10 cube plus etc. Find S5 and S infinity. Now you are given that this is a geometric series. So you have to find S5 and S infinity. So you know that the rule for Sn is a into 1 minus r raised to n by 1 minus r. So here a means the first term of the series that is 3. r means the second term by the first term. The second term is minus 3 by 10 by the first term means 3. So here you can delete this 3 and this 3 and you will get minus 1 by 10. And n here as you have to find S5, n is 5. So substituting these values here you will get S, n is 5. So S5 is equal to A is 3 into 1 minus R is minus 1 by 10. The whole raise to n is 5 by 1 minus r that means 1 minus r is minus 1 by 10. So this is equal to 3 into 1 minus minus 1 the whole raised to 5 is minus 1 the whole raised to 5 by 10 raised to 5. Minus 1 by 10 the whole raised to 5 you have to give the power 5 to minus 1 and power 5 to 10 so it will be minus 1 the whole raised to 5 by 10 raised to 5 by 1 minus minus 1 by 10 that we will calculate now 1 minus minus 1 by 10 this will be 1 minus and minus will become plus 1 by 10 so put 1 as 1 by 1 and cross multiply so 1 into 10 you will get uh, 10 plus 1 into 1 you will get 1 by 1 in 10 you will get 10. So this is 10 plus 1 11 by 10. So substituting this value back here this will be 1 minus 1 min, 1 minus minus 1 by 10 will be 11 by 10. So here you will get this is equal to 3 into 1 minus minus 1 the whole raised to 5 minus 1 the whole raised to 5 is minus 1 that means minus 1 multiplied 5 times minus 1 and 10 raised to 5 is 1 followed by 5 zeros so 1 and 5 zeros which will give you 1 lakh all divided by 11 by 10 now we have 1 minus minus 1 by 1 lakh we will find what it is so 1 minus minus 1 by 1 lakh. So this will be 1 minus and minus will become plus 1 by 1 lakh. Here as before we will put by 1 and cross. So you will get 1 into 1 lakh which is 1 lakh plus 1 into 1 which is 1 by 1 into 1 lakh which is 1 lakh so 1 lakh plus 1 which is 1 lakh 1 by 1 lakh so if you substitute it here you will get 3 into 1 lakh 1 by 1 lakh dividing with 11 by 10 you can instead of that you can multiply with 10 by 11 so here you can cancel one zero here so this will be equal to 3 into 1 lakh 1 which will be 3 lakh 3 by 
ten thousand into eleven, which will be eleven followed by four zeros. That means one lakh ten thousand. This is the value of S five. Now you have to find S infinity. S infinity equal to a by one minus r if the value of r lies in between minus one and one. So here r is minus one by ten, which clearly lies between minus one and one. So substituting the values of a and r, a is three by one minus r is minus one by ten. One minus minus one by ten. We have calculated it earlier. It is eleven uh, by ten. So substituting the value, you will get three by eleven by ten. You are dividing three with eleven by ten. Instead of that, you can multiply with the reciprocal ten by eleven. So this is three into ten, thirty by eleven. The next question is. For the geometric series, four plus one plus one by four plus one by sixteen plus etc., find S four and S infinity. So you are given that it is a geometric series. So we will write the first term a. A is four. R is the second term by the first term. Second term is one. This is a second term, and this is a first term. So second term by first term means one by four. And n, you have to find S four. So n is four. The rule for S n is S n is equal to a into one minus r raised to n by one minus r. So substituting the values of a, r, and n, you will get this is equal to a is four into one minus r is one by four raised to n is Again, four by one minus r is one by four. This is equal to four into one minus one by four raised to four. Give this power four to one and power four to four. So we'll get one raised to four by four raised to four by one minus one by four. We will check the value of one minus one. One minus one by four. So put one by one and cross. So this is one into four, which is four minus one into one, which is one by one into four, which is four. So this is four minus one, which is three by four. Substituting the value of that, you will get this is by three by four. So this is equal to four into one minus one raised to four is One by four raised to four. That means four multiply four times. Four into four into four into four. You will get two hundred fifty-six by three by four. Now we'll find the value of one minus one by two hundred fifty-six. One minus one by two hundred fifty-six. So for that, put one as one by one. Cross multiply. So you'll get. One into two hundred fifty-six is two hundred fifty-six. Minus one into one is one. By one into two hundred fifty-six, two hundred fifty-six. So this is equal to two hundred fifty-six minus one is two hundred fifty-five. By two hundred fifty-six. So substituting the value of that, you will get. So this is equal to four into two hundred fifty-five. By two hundred fifty-six, and you have a by three by four. Instead of that, you can multiply with the reciprocal of three by four, which is four by three. Now you can cancel this four and two hundred fifty-six. You will get uh, sixty-four. Again, you can cancel this four and sixty-four. You will get sixteen. Now you can cancel this three with two hundred fifty-five. You will get eighty-five. So this is equal to what is left on the. Numerator is eighty-five, and what is left on the denominator is sixteen. So you'll get eighty-five by sixteen. Therefore, you have the value of S four as S four is equal to eighty-five by sixteen. Now we will find uh, the.
the value of s infinity s infinity is equal to a by 1 minus r if the value of r lies in between minus 1 and 1 that means minus 1 less than r less than 1 here r is 1 by 4 which clearly lies in between minus 1 and 1 so substituting the values of a and r we will get a is 4 by 1 minus r is 1 by 4 and we have seen that 1 minus 1 by 4 is 3 by 4 so replacing the value we will get 4 by 3 by 4 so you are dividing 4 with 3 by 4 instead of that we can multiply 4 with the reciprocal of 3 by 4 which is 4 by 3 so we will get uh, 4 into 4 which is 16 by 3 so s infinity equal to 16 by 3 the next question here is for the geometric series 7 minus 7 by 5 plus 7 by 25 minus 7 by 125 plus etc find s4 and s infinity so you are given that this is a geometric series the first term of the geometric series is 7 so a is equal to 7 r the common ratio is the second term by the first term second term is minus 7 by 5 so you'll get minus 7 by 5 by the first term which is 7 so you can delete this 7 and this 7 so you'll get minus 1 by 5 then you have to find s4 so n will be 4 the rule for sn is sn is equal to a into 1 minus r raised to n by 1 minus r so when you put the values of n a and r you'll get n is 4 so you'll get s4 is equal to a is 7 into 1 minus r is minus 1 by 5 the whole raised to n n is 4 by 1 minus r r is minus 1 by 5 so this is equal to 7 by sorry 7 into 1 minus so give the power to minus power 4 to minus 1 and power 4 to 5 so you'll get minus 1 the whole raised to 4 by 5 raised to 4 the whole divided by 1 minus minus 1 by 5 we will find the value of this 1 minus minus 1 by 5 so you'll get minus and minus will be plus so this 2 minus will combine to give you 1 plus 1 by 5 put by 1 so and cross multiply so 1 into 5 is 5 plus 1 into 1 is 1 by 1 into 5 is 5 so you'll get 6 by 5 so substituting back here you'll get 1 minus minus 1 by 5 is 6 by 5 so this is equal to 7 into 1 minus minus 1 the whole raised to 4 minus 1 the whole raised to 4 means minus 1 multiplied 4 times so minus 1 into minus 1 into minus 1 into minus 1 you'll get 1 by 5 raised to 4 5 multiplied 4 times 5 into 5 into 5 into 5 you will get 625 by 6 by 5 so again you have to find 1 minus 1 by 625 so 1 minus 1 by 625 so you can put 1 as 1 by 1 and cross so you will get 625 minus 1 by 625 625 minus 1 is 624 by 625 so substituting it back here you will get 7 into 1 minus 1 by 625 is 624 by 625 the whole divided by 6 by 5 so instead of dividing with 6 by 5 
you can multiply with 5 by 6. So here you can cancel this 5 and this 625 to get 125. You can cancel this 6 and this 624 to get 104. So ultimately what is left here is 7 into 124. 7 into 104 is 728. By on the denominator you have 125. So you have found the value of S4, S4 is 728 by 125. Now we will find S infinity. S infinity is A by 1 minus R, where R lies in between minus 1 and 1. So here R is minus 1 by 5, which clearly lies between minus 1 and 1. So putting the values of A and R, here you will get a is 7 by 1 minus R is minus 1 by 5. So this is 7 by the value of 1 minus minus 1 by 5 which we have found earlier is 6 by 5. So replacing the value there you will get 6 by 5. So this is 7. Instead of dividing with 6 by 5 you can multiply with the reciprocal 5 by 6. So you'll get 7 into 5 which is 35 by 6. So the value of S infinity is 35 by 6. So here we have a question that alpha be the marginal propensity to consume. You're given that 0 less than alpha less than 1. That means alpha is a number between 0 and 1. Find the value of alpha plus alpha square plus alpha cube plus etc. Now here you can see that this is a geometric series because if you divide the second term by the first term a2 by a1 is alpha square by alpha and alpha square by alpha if you delete one alpha square means alpha into alpha alpha multiplied two times and in the denominator you have alpha so one alpha from the denominator and the numerator will get cancelled to give you alpha. Now the third term a3 by the second term a2, a3 is alpha cube, the third term here. This is the third term and this is the second term alpha square. So by alpha square. So alpha cube means alpha multiplied three times alpha into alpha into alpha. In the denominator you have alpha square means alpha multiplied two times alpha into alpha. So two alpha from the denominator will get cancelled with two alpha from the numerator. So ultimately what is left is alpha. So you can see that uh, a2 by a1 is equal to a3 by a2. Both the value of both are alpha. So this is a geometric series. Now you have to find the value of alpha plus alpha square plus alpha cube plus etc. That means you have to find the sum of the infinite terms of this series. That means you have to find S infinity. We know that S infinity is A by 1 minus R if the value of R lies in between minus 1 and 1. So here A is the first term alpha and R is uh, the ratio between the second term, second term by first term a2 by a1 and you have got the value as alpha. So if you put the values here you will get s infinity is equal to a that means alpha by 1 minus r which is again alpha. Now we have used this formula because r is alpha and in the question you are given that 0 less than alpha less than 1. That means the value of alpha is in between 0 and 1. So clearly it will be in between minus 1 and 1. So you can use this formula a by 1 minus r to find s infinity. So this is alpha by 1 minus alpha. So therefore you got that the sum of the series alpha plus alpha square plus alpha cube plus etc is alpha by 1 minus alpha. 